Was I doing there so um, basically a good way for you to actually learn the fret bar is to actually play um, so uh, in all 12 keys it's kind of hard to do I've never been that good at it um, the easiest way for me is actually to play it either through a cycle of fits or a cycle of four so that way you get it moving um, um, sequentially in um, um, either fourths or fits basically so what I just played was a via um, cycle of four so I started off with C and basically I'm playing the exact same pattern and I'm using just the A string um, chord voicing because that way forces me to use the entirety of the neck up and down so the first chord that I played is C major seven and pretty easy chord and then I play a C major um, scale and I'm using just the root here on the A string so that's just pattern playing um, C D E F G A B C D all right so the next chord is um, F if you're doing it by the cycle of fourths a good way to have your guitar help, so I just to have your guitar help you is, I mean, I did a video um, of talking about the guitar is really your best instrument. I'm sorry, your best teacher is to just learn little tricks to be able to figure out what the fourth and fifth are. So I know from from years of playing that the fourth always falls right at the bottom of the note that I'm playing if I'm playing on any of the uh, of, if I'm playing on the A string. So for example, this is C and then this is F. But I'm gonna go to this F because I want to use the entirety of the neck. So if I cite this, C, then the C major scale, then the F major seven, then the F major scale, and then right here, I go up here, B flat major seven is the next chord. Okay, then after that is the E flat major seven. Okay, and what's beauty of this is you see how I was moving up, then I start moving back down, I'm using this E flat major seven. Okay, and then uh, what's after that is the A flat, Again, right here. Okay. D flat major seven takes you down here. Okay. Then the F sharp major seven. Right there. Then B major seven. Then E. Then A. Then D. Then you end back in C. All right, so that is a good way to just go up and down the, the fretboard. And what I would suggest, um, I might have probably messed up a couple of things there, is just Google um, cycle of fifths and cycle of fourths, and you'll see a circular thing. If you go one direction, it's a cycle of fourth, and the other direction, is a cycle of fifth. All right. Um, at first, start off by looking at the chords themselves. 
and then just play it and play it. Um, you can do it like what I just did, which is on the A string as a root for the major seventh and um, the chords and the scale. Or you can choose to do it on the um, the low E. So this just familiarizes you with the neck of the fretboard up and down. It's a good way um, to practice your scales and to practice your chords. You can do that with major. You can do that with minor. You can do that with pentatonics. You can do that with anything on the guitar. Um, the guitar is a repeatable instrument, and part of the biggest challenge is mastering it. Um, and, you know, hopefully this thing helps you guys. Thank you so much. Bye now.